guys, this is Chengu from My Life After Breakfast. Thank you once again to everyone who subscribed from the last video. You guys are absolutely awesome. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm like super mad right now. I know, I'm like smiling, it doesn't look like that. But um, I don't know if you guys can hear this also, but the people downstairs are having a huge party with a lot of music and there are like 20 people in there and um, they're smoking weed. And then my neighbor, like my like my roommate over here, roommate, but like apartment mate, flatmate, I don't know. Um, like she's over there smoking weed too, and she's got like three people in there. And all this like weed smoking is like seeping in through the cracks. So my room just smells like weed now. So I'm not having a good night, and I'm just trying to like catch a quick nap. And like I can't because everything smells like weed. Mm, angry. I mean, I don't have a problem with smoking weed, but just don't do it while I'm trying to sleep, you know? I mean, I get it. I, mean, I live in Brooklyn. Like, we all moved here so we could party without having to deal with the co-op board. I get it. But, like, you know, people are trying to sleep, and it's a Thursday night. People have work tomorrow. I mean, I don't, but, you know, others do. <laughs> I was trying to catch, like, a quick nap. Um, because I was like doing internship all day and then I was I ended my internship by babysitting for somebody <laughs> which was such a weird way to participate in my internship and I was like having a hard time staying awake and I was like she cannot walk back in here for me and I'm like watching her child and I'm sleeping on her couch like that cannot happen so stay awake okay but that's not the point of this vlog I actually wanted to talk about the whole craziness with Spider-Man the musical turn off the dark which sounds like the stupidest name in the world to me like I totally love Julie Taymor, and I respect the fact that she's been working on it for nine years with, like, Bono and The Edge and everything, and she's been putting it together. But I've also been walking around New York for the past, like, two and a half years, hearing that this great musical was about to start any day now. It's like the new, you know, urban legend. Like, it's something that they do to scare children. Like, I swear to you, one day this musical will come out, and then you will have to see it. Like, I swear, like, it's like... It'll never happen. It was actually a thing for a while to be like in a bar and some guy like comes up to hit on you and you're like, um, yeah, sure. I'll date you when Spider-Man comes out. Like that was a thing because we've been seeing these huge posters, Spider-Man, turn off the dark. That sentence, that like, turn off the dark. That makes no sense. They've been throwing like $70 million at this project. Here's what costs like $70 million about that show. Number one, the theater they wanted to put it in is a really, really great space, but it can't actually accommodate what they want to do, i.e. like fly the entire cast, fly people over the audience. So they had to rebuild a like 100 year old theater, like rebuild the entire thing and pay to have it like put back the way it's supposed to be at the end. So like to begin, they had to hand over like, I don't know, like $20 million just to start before they like to rent the building. Then they have to pay for all of the sets, all the actors, all the, you know, the crew that has just been working on this show nonstop for the last year and a half with like no show to speak of. And they've had, I want to say four or five actors get seriously injured on their sets. Like, this is what I've been hearing from people. They're like, they're like, accidents and terrible, you know, terrible mishaps aside, the show stinks. Which is weird, because I don't know if you guys know Julie Taymor. If you haven't seen um, Across the Universe, the movie that was like the 70s, like it was like the Beatles songs made into a music, uh, movie musical. It was really good, I thought. Um, another showing of Julie Tamer's absolute brilliance. If you've ever seen the musical The Lion King, which will blow your mind, I guarantee you, it's been running for 10 years, over 10 years, in New York City on Broadway. And that is why they were like, okay, we need someone who can do something epic and have it run for a very long time. And they were like, Julie Taymor, absolutely. They're now saying that she is no longer a part of the project. They're bringing over like two other people to make it better. Like one of the guys who has been writing the Spider-Man comic book for years and um, somebody who directed another show. I can't remember what it is. I'll put the name here in an annotation. Nobody knows what's going to happen and nobody knows when it's going to come out. They just know that they kind of have to come out because they have spent $70 million on this show over the last couple years and they are nowhere close to, like, even possibly, maybe, kind of, almost, hey, maybe it's possible actually recovering that money. So they kind of just have to like, you know, throw it in a bucket and just be like, well, here it is, guys. Hope you like it. But they're, you know, doing the best that they can to actually make it a good show first. I don't know what's ever going to come out. What do you guys think? Do you honestly think that Spider-Man will be good? 
Kelly Chumer came out with a with a comedy video about how crazy it was like a couple months ago. But the fact that it's like nothing's working. Like every single show, something crazy happens. Somebody gets broken. Someone you're like, oh my gosh, this person's gonna die. Like outside of the parameters of the story, like you're watching like an actor that's about to die. Like people are rushing to the, to the theater to watch this show because they're like, maybe I'll see someone die. Like, this is absolutely terrible. What do you think? Do you honestly think this show will ever get off the ground? Do you honestly think that if it does get off the ground, people will ever go see it for any more reason that they're really hoping that something will go wrong? I don't know. Tell me what you think. <laughs> I'm just so tired and so angry that everything smells like weed. <laughs> Uh, okay, <laughs> bye guys, see you tomorrow. <laughs>